Welcome to Oman. We spent a total of 9 days in Oman, and there's so much to do that we can't cover everything in one video, so we're breaking it into 3. You can see our itinerary and which places we visited here on the map. Alright guys, we are starting our journey! We are about to head out to Istanbul, so we are actually currently at the Dulles Airport. <laughs> We ended up sleeping for a lot longer than we thought we would, but we're feeling, I'm feeling good. Sharif is still feeling <coughs> sleepy. Sharif is still feeling sleepy. I'm very sleepy. Yeah. I could sleep for another like five hours to be honest. Uh, we didn't really get to record earlier just because we didn't have our GoPro on us and honestly we were just really sleepy, but we uh, went to breakfast and then uh, we went like driving around, we sat at the beach for a little bit and then we came and checked into our hotel. So that was nice. So um, like I said, it's 7 p.m. So we're just gonna get ready now and then um, head out to dinner and see what else is gonna happen tonight. Okay. <laughs> She's a runner, she's a track star. Dolphin watching. Two hours every day at 8 a.m., 10 a.m., and 12 p.m. Dolphin watching three hours every day at 10 a.m. Cosine. Private bow. Okay, cool. That is the Sultan's yacht. giant maze yeah but i like the giant maze feel yeah i think it, it feels like more old school right whenever yeah. you can't you don't know where you're going and people are telling you to go to random places and then you get trapped somewhere and then you have to pay money to get out i actually like that experience <laughs> <laughs> or they're like come to my come to my family car carpet world and you're like which one and there's like a thousand <laughs> yeah have you met my cousin oh he's over there oh my brother he's right there <laughs> Um, I wish that the shops were all open so we could see, but apparently when the shops are all open, you can't even set foot in here, so I don't know. Maybe it's a good thing. One thing we learned in Oman is that there are pretty strict driving rules. We'll be making a separate video about our experience driving around the country as well as some tips that we learned. drinks because supposedly we missed breakfast and so he came and yeah, gave so us nice. these two little healthy shooters. Gave us the complimentary drinks.
naan and roll so Aye. they give the spices for the shawarma separately right for so this only spices goes in there what is that i don't even know what that is that kind of looks like the the thing that came with the the my shawarma i didn't have dinner mm-hmm. okay. for me after that 20 out of 10 mm-hmm. Sorry. It's so good. Okay, so they just came out with this brand 2 months ago because we're boycotting okay the other products. So it's a Kinza Cola and it tastes like Pepsi. Yeah. Coke. Islami Kinza Cola. This is Islami Cola. Yeah. Islami But, it, but it, it's not it's not a Coke flavor. Well, actually it is kind of a Coke. Zada Coke ki flavor hai. Coke flavor hai. Yeah. गैस करती गले में से सनसन से होता है स्ट्रांग बट ये स्ट्रांग नहीं है इट्स अ कोक फ्लेवर गाइस इट्स नॉट अ पेप्सी फ्लेवर वी आर इन अलमोज एरिया नाउ अम लाइक हाउ एक्सपेंसिव इट इज हियर या इट स्मेल्स एक्सपेंसिव Gray. Yeah, thank you. And then comes the pan back. Fish, um, salad. And then chicken kadai. Ye dal lo upar. Mm. Salad dal lo. Mm. Ye chale se ki hai? Ye chicken kadai. Yeah. So It's kind of like a drive-through here. But you just pull up. You pull up to the spot and there's a worker that walks up to your car and then you just tell him what he wants and he comes out with the tray with the drinks. And same with food. And with food. So it's like a drive-through but it's like a park-through. Mm. It's pulling up now. Really? They did the turn-down service and left us this cute little chocolate. Sweet. In the slippers, yes. You <laughs> said <laughs> turn down service. We got an airport shuttle from um, our hotel to the airport rental for the car rental for a real for all of us. So we're just heading over there now. Um, honestly, recommend probably if you're gonna get a car rental, just get it straight from the airport. It's just a lot easier. We are finally getting our rental car. So we're here now. It is 4.53. So about to be two hours since we've been here, but it's okay. Alhamdulillah, we got the car. Um, they're just pulling up right now with the car and then we'll put all our stuff away. So we have finally started the journey towards Jabal Shams, which we have finally gotten the right pronunciation we were what were we saying um ja, jabal no what were we saying before jabal sham jabal jabal shams but it's jablishams so now we're on the way finally um our estimated time of arrival is like 8:38 p.m. so we're just in a little bit of traffic here some things to know is that if you're going to be going towards um like Jabal Shams or Jabal Akhtar you for sure need to have um four wheel drive SUV that can go through different types of terrain and like go up the hills and stuff like that otherwise um Jabal Shams you can go without it there's no restrictions it's just recommended whereas Jabal Akhtar if you're going to be going up there's a checkpoint where it's required for you to have a four wheel drive um car so yeah So we still have about like an hour left and there's all these like shops and stuff like this to where you can stop off at get something maybe some snacks or something to drink use the restroom. This is a little bit bumpier than where we were at and the road is a little bit more narrow but still again the road is paved. I think it's just bumpy because of rocks. Oh, be careful. Oh, here's a speed bump. This is what we're talking about, okay? These speed bumps come out of nowhere. And honestly, if there weren't cars, we would just go flying right here. <laughs> Turn into a plane real quick. 
Okay, it looks like we've reached the unpaved road part of the adventure for tonight. <laughs> and we still have half an hour to go. I feel like the Blair Witch Project right now. It's not even. Oh, what is this? A speed bump! Uh-uh. How they gonna do this to us? Okay, so we just got to the Airbnb. It's a really cute Airbnb. However, <laughs> we just found out that there's actually no Wi-Fi. I even got an eSIM today, but there's no cell reception whatsoever. Um, and uh, the host basically has a worker who lives next door to this Airbnb house. And he said that, yeah, if you need cell reception, you can just walk to my house and you can have cell reception there. All right, so um, this is our Airbnb. It is 6.30 in the morning. And those mountains are beautiful. We are about to start the balcony walk. In case y'all didn't know, this is my first hike. <laughs> I've never hiked before. She really hasn't. <laughs> They have these like little flag looking things that tell you the path that you should be following down. These right here. Two hours later. later all right so this is that was our airbnb and this is the parking lot for the balcony walk and now we're going that way we're leaving now it is well. often as well the current time is 1 55 p.m <laughs> 